Hello friends, welcome to ANSI's tutor. In this demonstration, we would see the analysis of a one-dimensional cantilever beam with a uniform distributed load using the ANSI's APDL software package. It's a cantilever beam of 100 mm length. It has a square section of 10 into 10 mm. It's fixed at one end and free at the other end. On this beam, a uniform load of 250 newton per millimeter is applied. We need to find out the deformation, shear force, and bending moment using the ANSI's APDL. Let's know how to open the ANSI's APDL. For this, go to the Start menu, open the ANSI's folder, select the Mechanical APDL Product Launcher. In the File Management tab, select the Working Directory, enter the file name and click on Run. Before we start, it's a request please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications of our new uploads. Go to the main menu and click on Preferences. Select the Structural option as we are going to do only structural analysis in this simulation. Open the preprocessor, select element type, click on add edit delete. Click on add, select the beam, select the 2 node 188 or 3 node 189 mesh. Open the material properties, click on material models. Select structural, linear, elastic isotropic. Enter the Young modulus of elasticity of the beam material in the X box. Enter the Poisson's ratio in the PRXY box. Then click on OK. Close the material model box. Open the sections. Here we would define the beam cross section. For this select the beam option. Click on the common sections. Here in this beam tool, you can choose the section type and size of the beam. Open modeling, select create, select key points, in active coordinate system. Enter the key point number, put the coordinate of the key point. Put the first key point at the origin. Then enter the coordinate for the second point, as the length is 100 mm put X coordinate as 100. Click on OK. Now, we can see two key points are created in the actives plane. Now in create menu go to lines. Select lines select the straight line option. Now left click on the first key point, and then on the second key point. Then click on OK. A line is created. Now we need to mesh this line body. For this go to meshing, select the mesh tool. Click on the set option beside the line. Now click on the line body and click on OK. In the element size window, enter the number of divisions or element edge length for meshing. Click on OK. You can see an M written in this as it is not meshed yet. Now go to the Raise Hidden tool. Open the Mesh tool window. Click on the Mesh button, select the line and click on OK. Now it's meshed. To observe the meshed cells, go to the Plot Control menu, select Style, select Size and Shape. Check the Display of Elements checkbox. Click on OK. Now you can see the conceptual view of the 1D body with all of the meshed elements. Now meshing is complete. Proceed for solution setup. Now we would put all of the structural loading conditions into the model. For this go to the loads option in the preprocessor menu, select define loads. Click on apply, select structural. Click on the displacement, 
select on key points option. Now the selection tool will appear, select the first key point and click on OK in the next window. Select all degrees of freedom option and put the displacement value as zero. Click on OK. You can now see that the end has been fixed. Now go to the pressure option. Select on beams option. Select the box selection tool. Now create a box using mouse left click starting from top corner to bottom. Then click on OK. Enter the load key as 2. Put the pressure at node I and node J as 250 Newton per millimeter as it's uniformly distributed along with all the nodes. Then click on OK. Now we can observe that all the loads have been placed successfully along the beam. Now we would proceed for solving this problem. For this go to the solution menu and click on solve. Select the current LS option. Click on OK. The solution is completed. Close it. Now we need to go to the post processing option to see all the solution results. Open the general post processing. Click the result viewer. Select off solution and select Y component of displacement. Click on plot results. It would show you the deflected structure of the beam. From this analysis, the maximum deflection obtained at the free end is 189.843 millimeters. Select the element table. In this table, we would define the command to get the shear force and bending moment diagram. Click on Define Table, click on Add. Select the By Sequence Number option. Enter the value of sequence number as 6 and 19 for the shear force diagram. And for the bending moment diagram, enter the sequence number as 3 and 16. Now go to Plot Results, select Contour Plot. Select the defined SMISC at node I and J then click on Apply. From this analysis, the maximum shear force is 24,875 Newton, which is at the fixed end. Similarly, let's get the bending moment diagram for this beam. From this analysis, the bending moment is maximum at the fixed end with a magnitude of 0.124 into 10 to the power 7 Newton millimeter. Click on Capture Image and save the result. Let's know about how to animate the results. For this, open the General Post Processing. Click the Result Viewer. To animate the result click on the Animate Result option. Select the Deformed Results. Click on OK. You can also adjust the number of frames per second using this slider. Stop the animation.
Save the file and exit. With this let's conclude this demonstration. Hope you would like this tutorial. Thank you. Stay healthy, stay safe.